Okay, recording is started. Thanks for joining everybody. Um, this is our second CKE office hours. Uh, last week we had a session regarding um, the Kubernetes the hard way to go through the, the um, documentation and the guide from Kelsey Heidelberg. Uh, but before I go through your question, possible questions or any suggestions regarding the Kubernetes the hard way, I'd love to raise or um, uh, some issues or announce announcements um, about uh, what's going, what what we would you know we need the next time. So the first thing is. Um, we are going to support, we need more CKA girls. Currently, we have only two, um, Paloma and Nikita. And uh, the question is, I'm missing both of them here this week. Um, if they know or anybody of you lovely guys know about other girls who would like to become a CKA and um, um, we can sponsor them. We have some um, free uh, coupon codes uh, for them. And um, if you know about any girls who would like to join us, we'd be very pleased to uh, support them. So, um, and about our next meetup with Marky Jackson, Mark is today among us. Is about uh, uh, TensorFlow on on Kubernetes. It's a love story. Hope all of you would join. And um, next week, I'll most probably I'll be on the road at this time. So by a client in North Germany and um, in the train. So I, I'll I'll uh, try to join. Um, uh, during my trip uh, at this time, but I ask Arush, he will moderate the session and most probably provide a short training about um, secrets and certificates. So, okay, this uh, week's pro protocol writer, I'll, I'll take over, but if one of you would like to um right um about uh, our findings and discussions please feel free you have all of you have right access to that to this document um the next issue is that i'm glad to announce that we have we can we got the canonical distribution of kubernetes running on our um open stack environment so if um, you need a CKA, um, and not CKA, CDK uh, environment, uh, please let us know, or directly myself or Christopher, or write in the channel um, that you would like to have access to a, a CDK environment on our OpenStack be happy to support you for your trainings and yeah um, exercises or for for kubernetes um, the next issue is if you are uh, if you know about this um, uh, survey is a short survey we asked um, which short name for Kubernetes would you prefer most likely? Um, please uh, select. Um, so we want to have a, a short name for, for Twitter and other marketing activities. So uh, the results are on this page. And the current results. Um, I think I, the K zeros is uh, 
the best choice or at least at this time so but it needs a lot of time to load so sorry monkey go oh, okay back to that um so and the next event is the large one of the largest events where we are going to attend and be part of that by the uh, organizing the event is in berlin on uh, november 12th that's a sunday in berlin uh, together with sap and uh, ibm i think uh, about next gen kubernetes meetup um, i'm not sure if you know about the next gen the organizer of the next gen is stefan fetter uh, from sap and uh, yes and i'm going to assist him by the first meetup and we are um, as Kubernetes, we are going to attend and help uh, the community here to set up online, offline and online meetups together with us in Germany and worldwide. Um, go back to the protocol. Okay, here. So, and two nice news about new projects. Um, we are, I signed a project uh, last week on on Thursday, I think, uh, about uh, four Kubernetes. That's the first official projects where we can earn money uh, to help uh, migrating Couchbase uh, on Cube or uh decide to go with uh couch base on the vm if you'd like to support us or work in this project together with us and get paid for that please let us know you can get paid and donate your work to the community right so um so what i'm doing uh, and mark as well um and then uh, in january we want to have uh, that's the next project we have a client who would like to have kubernetes as a service and uh, our idea was to provide a kubernetes kubernetes as a service offering which could start uh, in january 2018 and if you'd like to build this environment together with us, I'd be happy to work with you and the whole community together. So um, let's go to the topic of last week. Um, is, um, okay, uh, there was two issues, uh, two questions about, um, the local host setup version of Kubernetes the hard way. Noah is here, I see. Noah wanted to, I'm not sure, Noah, if you uh, worked on that and this and could provide any, uh, hi, Noah, any insights about it? Okay, no road. He did some work on getting it running, and uh, he ran into some issues with the kubelet currently. Good. So um, the uh, question is, who else would like to work on this and help Noah to get the whole thing working? Because I think that's um, a very nice solution to have. Kubernetes the hard way on local host and prepare for the exam. So if one would like to support Noah um, uh, by this, please get in touch with him. Or if Noah, if you have, um, yeah, you have problems, 
uh, apparently. So please write in, into Slack and um, let us know if it could be of help. So um, thank you, Noah. Um, okay, the other question was last week um, about uh, get the Kubernetes the hard way running on AWS. So I know Arush was working and almost got the whole thing working on AWS. He can't, couldn't attend to this uh, office hours this week. I uh, had a, a chat with him. Um, he will be available next week and moderate the session. Um, and uh, good. That, that's just about uh, Kubernetes on, on AWS. Oh, what? Monty wrote something in chat. Let me see. Okay, I hear that multitasking. Okay. Um, good. Um, so, the other uh, suggestion, okay, Q means questions and S means suggestions. If you have any other questions regarding Kubernetes the hard way, please write that here in this section. And also for those who are not attending now, this, uh, and we'll, we'll see the video, uh, the recording later. Please write down if you have any problems here, then by the next time we will answer the questions so good as possible. So, or if you have any other suggestions, please write it here. My suggestion was last week I uh, to get Kubernetes the hardware working on OpenStack. And if someone would like to work with me on this, on our OpenStack environment, I'd be very grateful and happy to work with you. Um, good. Then um, my suggestion, I wrote some suggestions for next week, top, uh, the, the topic for next week. Um, one of them, the first one uh, is the Kubernetes by example. Please go through, if not already done, that is a great um, uh, tutorial or, or a documentation written by uh, Michael Hausenblas um, is provided on our Kubernetes learning resources list as well. By the way, um, how the whole thing, uh, I, I am uh, provided a number here. One means uh, if you want to go through the CKA exam, my suggestion was to. Uh, cool. Okay, uh, the, the, the uh, first thing is to go to the Kubernetes the hard way. The second thing is to, to go to the Kubernetes by example. And to be honest, I don't know what the third one will be. Uh, and I'd li like to have your feedback if uh, uh, one of these topics here uh, is most likely uh, you would like to suggest and recommend for others, please let me know, then we will uh, work on it uh, or provide it as a suggestion by the next CKA uh, office hours. Uh, and for sure, uh, there is a great blog post and uh, on GitHub as well from Valid Ashari. Um, he wrote that, after his exam two weeks ago, I think, uh, with a lot of information and uh, links here. Um, he has also a blog post about that. That's the GitHub version, a blog post on Medium. Uh, there you can find that here, somewhere, yes, here. I think that's the first, yes, that's the link to the Medium blog post. Uh, very nice. Um, 
I'm missing him this week also. Uh, it would be nice to have him by one of our next uh, sessions. Um, good. Then um, other issue or suggestions which I would like to have your help uh, is about ingress controller and secrets and certificates for the exam. Um, I'm sure Marty can help us uh, and uh, Harshal or some other CKEs who went through the exam and uh, provide a short training for that. Mahi? Good. Um, okay, that's the protocol of last week. Every week we'll have the, we'll update the protocol. And uh, as mentioned, please write your uh, questions here in this section for Kubernetes the hard way. Uh, and then uh, next week and go through the, the Kubernetes by example for the next week's session. Um, if you have any questions, please write into Slack and also go through the, the certified administration post uh, by, by valid. So um, any questions in chat? No. Good. Then I would say we are done for today. Uh, may I suggest also to look at the differences between the current and the new version of Kubernetes? From what I understood, Arian writes, from November on uh, or December, only the latest version will be used for the exam. That's right, from, uh, from November on. That was the, the information which uh, I think Arush provided in Slack. Uh, from November on, the exam will be based on the latest Kubernetes. That's 1.8 and not the uh, 1.7 version. Um, Ah, that's very, very, very great that Kelsey updated the Kubernetes. I thought he updated that to 1.7 two or three weeks ago, but that's perfect. So yes, it will be very nice to go with uh, the latest 1.8 version. And by the way, 1.8 will be, I think, a version with a lot of the improvements in security and stability and so on. And I think this version will stay for the next one or two years by many uh, companies uh, who are going to uh, either upgrade their Kubernetes version from one to, I know companies are working on one, two version, one, three, uh, then they will go with one, eight now. Uh, good. Any other issues, questions, suggestions? Good, then thank you very much for joining and um, have a nice day, evening, night, whatever, where you are where, uh, in the world. Um, and um, see you next week. Or, oh, OK, next week, Arush will be uh, moderating the session. I, As I mentioned, I'll try to join. But see you um, in two weeks. Thank you. Bye bye.